that's five ball. Now, the first thing you need to do in doing the installation is to connect or fix the bulb to a lamp holder. Now, when doing that, make sure the lamp holder is off. Then put switch on the bulb, install, uh, fix the bulb to the lamp holder. Then you can switch it on. Once you do that, you see a red light blinking. You can see my bulb is connected already. Now, there are some things you would need to um, complete the installation of this bulb. Now, what are the things you need? You will need an active um, internet connection, which must be a Wi-Fi connection. You also need power source that's from your lamp holder, connected to your lamp holder, and you will need an Android phone because we are going to be downloading an app called the ICC. The spelling is I C S E E. That is I C C. So we'll be downloading that app from our um, Google Play Store, and that is the app with the app we're going to do what we're going to need for the configuration. Yes. Now let's go to the phone and see As how you can do. see we are on um, um, Google Play Store now, and this is the ICC app showing on the screen now. Now you can see the open button, it is there because I have already installed the app. Now, if you've not installed it, what you will see there is install. Um, icon you click on the install and install it now once you install the app once you install the app yes so now I need to go to the ICC app tap on the ICC then okay it has opened but as a first time user I would need to click on sign up okay I've done that then fill the information correctly my username I have to use uh, code D 77 then when you input you have to wait to see if it's approved you can see the mark beside the username which means the username is much available then i go to my password i want to use leader 12 and use uh, confirm the password again leader 12 okay input you can also view it okay to see if it matches then my password my email because the code will be sent to my mail which i will need to complete the registration okay click on get code and then you see code has been sent to my email so i have to go to my mail to get the code which has been sent okay you can see the code that's code at xm020.net. Okay, click on the most current one. And that is um, 6884. So I have to complete the sign up with that 6884. And then click on sign up. Um, okay sign up has been successful so you can see my details are already there so code is 77 has already been on the username and my password so what i just need to do is click on account login so um yes i've logged in into the device now this is the step registration step which has been completed we go to the next step which is the installing or linking the uh, bulb to your account. Okay, at this point, after <coughs> logging, after we've logged into our account, we have to add our device. So click the plus sign on top. Then you can see the add device. Set up my device to Wi-Fi. So that's the next thing to do. So. You click on it, then set up my device to Wi-Fi. Then when your device speaks, wait to be configured. You can click next. So we click on next step. Now you can see, like I said earlier, you would Please need- Please input wireless router password, you click would, OK. You will need a Wi-Fi for you to um, con or install the bulb. So you can see my Wi-Fi name and password is already there. So all I need to do is confirm. So, okay, that has been done. Then network is connecting. Please wait a moment. 
Okay, so we are trying to connect the bulb. The bulb is also going to speak back during this process. At this point, you have to be patient um, for the connection to take place. Okay, it has been connected successfully. Network connection success, please set the login password. Okay, so you need to set a password for um, your device. So, password, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, confirm one, two, three, four, five, six. And then confirm. So, let's give the device a name. Okay, so maybe we can say um, this bulb is at office one. So that's the name of um, our device. So we save that and then finally we are good to go. So that is office one. It's online. So we just tap on it and then you can see the view. Yes, now the, we are live now. And um, you can, as you can see, the smart bulb is now configured yes so at this point you can see you can see my bulb here you can see my bulb um, now I decided to show you this um, the device here now because there are some things that we need to display now you can actually do a snapshot with this bulb all you need to do is tap on the snapshot button and then a picture has been taken so if you want to share the picture you can also do that now the interesting thing like i said is that this bulb can be used um, you can make a call with it now the way it works um, my uh, my colleague will be joining me in demonstrating that now let me move away from the bulb now, the bulb works like um, the communication um, um, device of this bulb is like um, when we have the radio message, which um, security agencies use. So you can see where it's written long press to intercom. So that is where we will use for the intercommunication with the bulb. Now, once I hold this now, my, my colleague will be able to hear me from that position. So as I'm speaking now, he is hearing me. So all I need to do is maybe after speaking, I can say over so that he can also speak back. Okay, let's give it a try. Hello, Mike, are you over there? Over? Yes, yes, yes I'm here. Okay, he is speaking back. So can you hear the, um, can you hear my voice from the bulb? Over. Over. Yeah, I can hear your voice. Okay, so, um, this is how the intercommunication with the bulb works. So even when you're in your office, even when you've gone home, wherever you are, you can actually communicate to your partner with this bulb. Now you can also switch on the light of the bulb. So let me show you that, how to switch on the light of the device. Okay, as you can see now, this is the device. You can see the bulb button here. So when I tap it, so you can see switch on. The light is on now. I can put it off and then it has gone off. Now, while you're hearing a feedback, um, while you're getting a feedback from the bulb now is because of the voice feedback. So it's giving us a feedback. That's why I have to move away from the bulb. Yeah, so that's, um, that's with um, our bulb. It's connected now, so you can actually go back and play. You can fix in your memory card to record, and you can do a whole lot of things with that. So thank you very much for...